Hi guys, it is Kate here for A Casual Friday Reads, and I just wanted to tell you about what I will be reading this weekend. I am also planning on, during some of my audiobook listening, on knitting up some Valentine's decorations, maybe making like a heart banner, and um, I'm sure I'll put that on Instagram if I end up making anything, if you want to see that. So it's just fun to do something while you're listening to an audiobook. And the audiobook that I'm currently listening to is Anne's House of Dreams. This is number five in the Anne of Green Gables series, and I'm really enjoying this. None of them, to me, obviously, compare to Anne of Green Gables, but it is a really fun series, and... Um, some of the ways she describes nature are just really unconventional and really beautiful in ways I would have never imagined thinking of them. So I'll be finishing that up shortly because it is a very short book and I'm planning on starting book four. Is it book four? Yes. And the Agatha Raisin series, Agatha Raisin and the Walkers of Wembley, I think is the name. So I think Agatha Raisin in this one takes up hiking as a hobby, which should be really humorous. Um, then the ebook that I'm reading and like when I'm laying in bed and then reading some of the physical copy is, this cover's not very exciting, it's Grey Mask. This is a Patricia Wentworth Miss Silver Mystery. It's the very first in the series. I want to try, to try this. It's a golden age mystery and it is very interesting and, uh, but I'm definitely more into it now. Miss Silver has just been introduced because I was just very intrigued by her character. Uh, then I am faithfully reading two chapters a day of Bleak House by Charles Dickens and Still really enjoying this, and I am happy to say I'm halfway through this. So once, you know, you get kind of over the hump with Dickens novels, I think it just feels much easier. And, um, yeah, just still really enjoying it. So, um, you know, if I finish any of those, I always like to show what I'm thinking about reading soon as well. And because it's Valentine's Day, I thought... Uh, or Valentine's Day is coming up. It could be fun to start Duty and Desire. Uh, uh, this is in the Fitzwilliam Dar Darcy Gentleman trilogy. It's a Pride and Prejudice fan fiction from Darcy's perspective. And I read the first one and it was just a hoot and it was a lot of fun. Um, so then I might pick up something a little more gritty though. I've been craving some Ruth Rendell. So I might pick up Not in the Flesh. This is the 21st in the Wexford series. And I just keep taking my time with these because I'm shortly approaching the end of the series. Um, and then on my winter TBR, I had The Distant Hours by Kate Morton. This is kind of atmospheric. It starts um, during World War II and it's a castle, I'm pretty sure, in Scotland. And there's some mystery to it and just kind of a lot of the normal things that Kate Morton does. And I'm looking forward to starting this. And I will see you guys for another video soon. Please let me know what you are reading this Friday. And I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. And please stay warm for those of you that are in the Northern Hemisphere. And for those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, enjoy the sunshine. Bye, guys.